There's news, there's sense, and there's nuisance. This show is all about that last bit, and yes, I can hear the groans of disappointment already because Manisha isn't here. She'll be back next week, so yay. Now the thing is, we absolutely had to do an episode this week. Why, you may ask? Because we witnessed a demonstration of what I would call complete lunacy this week. And I want to tell everyone in the Times Now newsroom, if you're listening to me in the Times Now newsroom, go tell your editors. Go tell your editors not to be opportunistic anymore. CNN News 18 newsroom, hear me. This is Arnab Goswami speaking to you. The public is 230% bigger than your channel. People in the India Today newsroom, hear me. Hear me loud and clear. This is Arnab Goswami here. India Today newsroom, hear me. We are 270% bigger than you. Clever me. Tak, tum kyu hare? Tak, tum kyu hare? Poochta hai Bharat. Tak, tum kyu hare? Aapne giraban mein ja ke dekho tum aaj, tum kyu hare? Now, before I comment on the sanity of that outburst, I have one thing to ask Modi ji. Modi ji, all these Godi media, aapke bachcho ki tarah hai. Matlab, aapke har baat pe tali bajate hai, aap jo bolte hai, wo karte hai. At least they should get along with each other, na? Yehi ek dousre se lardte rehte hai. So what chance does India have keeping a country as diverse and disparate as India together is a challenge for the greatest of statesmen and for the greatest of leaders. It's hard, I understand. Now, if we can't keep the young Chunnu Munnu Gullus of Godi media together and in good humor, what chance does the country have? Now tell me, seriously, is that a sane person speaking, shouting, ranting, whatever you want to call it? I mean, seriously, is this where we are? And all this was because the most credible of all rating agencies, BARC, Broadcast Audience Research Council, released its television rating points after a gap of almost 18 months. The rating system had been suspended because of a controversy regarding its accuracy and authenticity and allegations of TRP fixing. But now, with the new system in place, there is complete accuracy and clarity of who is number one. Hena? Now and forever, the number one, unquestioned, unchallenged number one of the news industry in the country, the Republic Media Network, is here for good. We have established our leadership in every country. So, there is no doubt that we have come to war, we have come to relations, we have come to Pakistan, we have come to Atangwadi. TV9 Bharat was number one. Number one. Times Now has emerged as the most watched channel in the prestigious AB market segment of all cities. What is this system? But speaking of clarity and accuracy, let's talk about Vivek Agnihotri. It was a week that saw an amazing amount of TV airtime going to a rather mediocre propaganda film that claims to take up an issue that needs to be genuinely dealt with. The Kashmiri Pandit Exodus and Experience in the Kashmir Valley of the 80s and 90s. Now guess who compared his pain with the Kashmiri Pandit pain? Physical torture to financial hardship and organizational incarceration. We have been through it all. Arnab, we should have the Republic files. I will ask uh, 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 Mr. Agnihotri to bring out this the movie the called spirit. Republic Files. Absolutely. It's a story that needs to be told, I truly feel, sometimes. Yeah, what are you saying? No one here will ever endorse or justify the blatant and unfair bullying and harassment by the state machinery of Maharashtra that was inflicted on Arnab and his team. But that was like the Kashmiri Pandit pain. Yeah, you're worse than Vivek Agnihotri. Usse bhi gai guzre nikle to try and milk someone's tragedy and make it all about you. As some of the worst physical torture was inflicted on me and my colleagues as we were given third degree torture. Third degree torture? For someone who is so sensitive to unfair and roughshod behavior of cops, one wonders where the sensitivity goes when talking about, well, first check this out. I don't care. I don't care. I don't give a damn for the due process of law. And I know many of you think I should not say this. They will say, oh, again, Arnab has broken quote-unquote journalistic ethics. I don't give a damn for those journalistic ethics then. 
But when it comes to Umar Khalid and Stan Swami, what happens in custody? Or if custody happens, it doesn't matter. Chalo, as a great man had once said, Hypocrisy ki bhi seema hoti hai. Now, Republic reporting on Republic is nothing new. Unka aadha content hi hai hai. Ye slap in the face of Lutian's media type prime time debate topics to chalte rehte hai. But the latest quiver in the arsenal of let's expose Lutian's media is this film. And Arnab had his willing ally on his channel. In fact, all Godi media were publicity arms for this piece of cinematic excellence. So Kashmir file released in theatres across the country on the 11th of March. And the film is still being talked about on national primetime television. Nothing else happening. And with the weight of the whole state machinery behind it, I mean, Modi ji bhi madan mein utar gaya yaar. Kashmir file film ki chatta chal gaya. और जो लोग हमेशा फ्रीडम ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन के झंडे लेकर के घूमते हैं वो पूरी जमात बौखला गई है पिछले पांच छह दिन से जिनको लगता है कि फिल्म ठीक नहीं हुआ अपनी दूसरी फिल्म बनाए कौन मना करता है हाय ठंड पै गई आई कुड नॉट एग्री मो आई गेट सो थ्रिल्ड वेन नेशनल लीडर स्पीक लाइक दिस की द आंसर टू अ फिल्म इज अ फिल्म द आंसर टू अ बुक इज अ बुक The answer to a report is a report. The answer to pliant news media is independent news media. But in some cases, exercising that freedom could lead to income tax raids. In some cases, it leads to lots of government ads. But ha, khayal achha hai. But first, what an amazing publicity campaign the film got. Check it out. There's been no traditional marketing around the film, but everyone's talking about it. There are films which are made with multi-hundred crore budgets. which are not getting the audiences but this film has the country calls it the year's biggest hit isme emotion hai isme siyasat hai isme nafrat hai isme insaaf ki guhar hai aur isme zulm ki sachi daastan hai isiliye ye film logon ke dilon mein utar rahi hai ye film nahi thi ye un anginat logon ki kahani thi jo kahani nahi thi aap beeti thi ye film आत्मा को झकझोड़ती ही नहीं आत्मा को शरीर से अलग कर देती है कुछ देर के लिए उस नक्शे पर आप जो इस वक्त नाम देख रहे हैं ना वो सबसे ज्यादा चर्चा में है क्योंकि उसने ऐसे सच को बया कर दिया है जो बहुत कड़वा है वो इतना कड़वा है कि जब आप उसे देखेंगे तो आपको दर्द होगा और वो दर्द ऐसा होगा की आप चीखना चाहेंगे लेकिन आवाज नहीं निकल पाएगी बत्तीस साल बाद एक व्यक्ति ने दहशत की कश्मीर कथा दुनिया को दिखाने की हिम्मत की है कश्मीर में बर्फ की परतों से कुछ चीखें बाहर आई हैं। वो आज एक फिल्म से आस लगाई बैठे हैं कि शायद 32 साल बाद उन्हें उनका इंसाफ मिलेगा आई हैव नॉट सीन सो मच प्रेज एंड क्रेडिबिलिटी बींग एट्रीब्यूटेड टू इवन बापू गांधी ऑन गांधी जयंती बाई दिस न्यूज चैनल एज वॉज बींग पोतोड ऑन दिस गाय दैट टू बाई न्यूज चैनल न्यूज the basic fundamental tenet of which is facts that facts matter all information is based on fact fact is the basic atom or brick with which new structures are built and what does this man think of facts facts are facts no no why who said facts are facts this prani famous for his denunciation of the very idea of facts is now the voice that will bring the facts of kashmir to the world using some news channels as willing accomplices क्या यार हमने लोगों को सत्य दिखाया है जैसे दिखाना चाहिए था बत्तीस साल तक द सक्सेस ऑफ कश्मीर फाइल्स आई थिंक इज एन इरप्शन ऑफ द जॉय ऑफ द पीपल इन सीइंग अ स्टोरी दैट टेल्स द फैक्ट्स एज इट वाज एज इट इज विद नो पॉलिटिकल करेक्टनेस फैक्ट्स उठाकर रख दिए हैं कोई शेड्स ऑफ ग्रे नहीं है ब्लैक है और वाइट है फिल्म कश्मीरी पंडितों पर हुए जुल्म की दास्तान है एक सच की तस्वीर को सामने रखती है द मूवी हैज ब्रॉट आउट द हॉर इन स्टार्क रियालिटी एंड देर इज अ डिबेट देर इज अ डिबेट टू अर्टन एक्सटेंट ऑन दिस फिल्म क्यों स्टैब्लिश है इट्स लाइक सेटल थिंग इस पर डिबेट नहीं हो सकती वाई इज इट इज इट बिकॉज इट्स यार बट अ ग्रेट मैन हैड स्टोर मी दैट वाई Who said facts are facts? Beta, aaj kurta tumhare liye pehna hai black wala. It should give you an idea of just where we have reached, where a buffoon who renounces facts and is best known for YouTube rants and B-grade cinema is now the mascot for justice. 
from one of the most tragic and complicated political and social upheavals in independent India. Bas ek problem hai yaar, Vivek. When you become the dulha of lunatics ki barat, then it's a question of time when the lunatic bandwalas or the army of sarwalas turn on you. Karni Sena, who is usually on the right side of mainstream media and people like Vivek, demanded 50% of proceeds from Kashmir files should go to Kashmiri pandits. The Kashmir files ke जो बनाने वाले हैं, जो पैसा लगाने वाले हैं, पैसा कमाने वाले हैं, वो उस फिल्म का 50 प्रतिशत जो कमाई का हिस्सा है, नेट प्रॉफिट जो है, उसका कश्मीरी पीड़ितों के ऊपर खर्च करें। Not just that, a BJP functionary from Haryana, in an act of patriotism and propaganda, decided to screen this film for free. But इससे तो प्रोड्यूसर और वेक को घाट लग सकता है। That's when the Kashmiri Pandit cause was sidelined to protect ticket returns. And Vivek Ji tweeted to Haryana Chief Minister Khattar to stop this illegal action. By the way, the same Vivek was going around doing screenings of Buddha in a traffic jam, remember? In universities. Then this didn't matter, because national cause tha na. And vese bhi, wo film zada paisa nahi kamari thi. A great man had once said, Hypocrisy ki bhi seema hoti hai. That guys, the fact is, it's almost always about the money. Film producers ka to samaj aata hai. But sadly, even our news channels, their motto seems to be all about the money. Because ads se paisa kamana hota hai, to advertiser ko khush karna hai. Aur jab advertiser sarkar ho, to sarkar ko khush karna hai. Hame kisi ko khush nahi karna. Hame bas aap tak news pahunchani hai. Lekin sirf public service news hi nahi. Media ko bhi expose karna hai because it's public service. It's not just politicians, bureaucrats, industrialists, judiciary, etc, etc. That need to be scrutinized. It is also the news media. Ab is puri anti Jamaat rant mein, my favorite was of course Gullu. Kashmir mein kya hua? Is desh ne shayad dekh ke bhi an dekha kar diya. Is desh ke tata kathit patrakaro ne dekh ke an dekha kar diya. Ye bitta karate ko Bharat ka freedom fighter bana dete ye log. Aur log mujhse puchte ki Karaya Kumar ne jab azadi ke naare lagaye the to Amish Devgan tumko itna gussa kyu a gaya tha? यही नारे लगते थे कश्मीर के अंदर हमें चाहिए आजादी और यही नारे आज कन्हैया कुमार लगाता है जो कांग्रेस के अंदर शामिल है कोई कहते हैं लखीमपुर फाइल बनाओ कोई कहते हैं गुजरात फाइल बनाओ बनाओ सारी फाइलें इस देश के अंदर बनाओ 1947 तक जितनी फाइलें बनी हैं सारी खोल के रख दो पता लग जाएगा दूध का दूध क्या है और पानी का अगर बात में दम है तो आराम से बोल लोग समझ लेंगे। Now you know when Gullu says तथा कथित पत्रकार तो मुझे लगता है Gullu अपने आप से बातें कर रहा है मैं और मेरी तन हाई टाइप। Does it feel like that? एक बात बता Gullu फिल्म की पब्लिसिटी के लिए चिल्ला चिल्ला कर शो कर रहा है। इतना ही दर्द था कश्मीरी पंडित्स के लिए तो पहले कर लेता। in fact, if it's justice that all these jokers wanted, what stopped them from carrying out a campaign for Kashmiri pundits all these years? जब सदगुरु बोले तो ग्रीन कैंपेन कर देते हैं क्यों उन कैंपेन्स का एड मिलता है क्या बट फॉर कश्मीरी पंडित्स नो कैंपेन टिल नाउ द अमाउंट ऑफ नॉनसेंस स्प्यूड अबाउट कश्मीर ऑफ द 80s एंड 90s एंड प्राइम टाइम लास्ट वीक वाज स्पेक्टैकुलर लकीली वी हैव अ जर्नलिस्ट लाइक रियल वन असल जर्नलिस्ट हु कवर्ड मिलिटेंसी इन कश्मीर ड्यूरिंग दैट ट्रबल टाइम द मिलिटेंट थ्योरी सेज कश्मीरीज गेव इंडिया सेवरल चांसेस but after rigged polls, corruption, nepotism and propped up regimes, they had no choice but to take up arms. But other states have had exactly the same problems. The litany of complaints poured out sounds just like Bihar, for example. The demand for autonomy is not an unusual one in these days of centre-state problems. Why does Kashmir have to seek solutions outside the Union? Why is Kashmir special? Alpana Kishor reported for News Track. And she was also my boss when I worked there. So Alpana, thank you for joining us. You've seen the film and because I don't think you're in India right now, you may or may not have seen much of the prime time debates around it. As far as the film is concerned, how accurate do you think it is? So um, the film, if you're looking at it from an extremely narrow point of view, uh, it tells the the truth as far as these episodes of violence against Kashmiri pundits are concerned. Everything else it misses out. I think the big thing it misses out is context. 
So everything is within a context. And if you take out the context, then you can only see black and white. And history is always, is always uh, shades of gray. So I think that's one thing the film is missing entirely. Now, when it comes to context setting of what Kashmir at the time was, that it was underreported, I remember you've often told me that Kashmir was the sexy story. Everybody, not just in India, from the world wanted to cover Kashmir. Because covering Kashmir meant you got a certain profile. Is there any truth to the fact that it wasn't covered? So I think the film or the filmmakers have tried to portray not that Kashmir was underreported, but that the Kashmiri Pandit uh, factor was underreported, which is absolutely untrue. Uh, it was uh, fully and completely reported. Uh, at that time, Kashmir, you have to understand, was undergoing such incredible turmoil, the likes of which have not been seen uh, in, in recent uh, history or the recent past. Uh, I mean, it was hanging by a thread. The, the state was hanging by a thread. It could have gone, uh, you know, broken away or there could have been a civil war with the outside elements uh, involved for decades, you know. So at that point in time, there were demonstrations of lakhs and lakhs on the streets of Srinagar and other, other places. Uh, you have to understand the army was not in control of the internal part of Kashmir then. The army was on, its, on the borders. So it was taking care of the borders. But even then, the borders were patrolled with a sort of an understanding, a tacit understanding between the Pakistan army and the Indian army uh, and the Chinese army in those days, uh, that certain areas, you know, which were uninhabitable or that nobody would go through, those were just left as they were. Um, this is what Pakistan took advantage of in the Kargil War. So I just, I'm mentioning the Kargil War just to highlight that the borders were semi-permeable in those days. And the army looked after the border, but it was certainly not in control the way it is today with a fence, with the full security grid inside the state. So there was no grid. So I don't think, you know, to say that the Kashmiri Pandit exodus was not covered, not at all. It was happening within the context of this, uh, literally this huge question, is Kashmir going to break away from India? Because it was entirely possible. And how different was that Kashmir to today's Kashmir? Do you think today's journalists or even the viewers get the context of what Kashmir back then was like? So I certainly hope so. I hope they understand it. Uh, I think with Kashmir files, there's no way they can understand context because that's the first thing I said, that there is no context to this. It just happens that Muslims are these terrible monsters who just come and they are black villains and they throw the Kashmiris out. You have no understanding of how, where, what, when, or anything. Like I just explained, uh, Kashmir was in such a, a uh, quadrant at that time, it was just overflowing with the kind of conflict that has not been seen in recent history. So current viewers would not know how dangerous that tipping point was. And I, I must say, I was extremely privileged to be one of the reporters uh, at that point in time. In fact, none of us have, have, been, uh, have been approached or talked about it. Uh, none of us have appeared to, because we were the actual witnesses, to, to tell people today what it was actually like. I mean, I was there. I was there. No one asked me, nobody's spoken to me, you know. So <laughs> you can take the interpretation you want from there about whether uh, people today understand the context. Certainly not from the film. Alpana will be joining us on our weekly podcast, Hafta This Week, which is like a two hour podcast. So this is a very brief bit, but to listen to the entire in depth conversation about what it was like covering Kashmir at the time and what Kashmir was like and how accurate is this entire narrative that is being built. Do check out Hafta this weekend. In fact, it should be up already. Check it out. You can also watch this. The link is in the show notes below. Now, the thing that stunned me just as much as some of Vivek Agnihotri's claims last week was this claim. Matlab, facts are not facts level wala hai ye to. Remember viewers, we are a subscription driven channel. You subscribe to us. Yaar, kya bol raha hai RSS? We are subscription driven. Yaar, come on, yaar. If you are subscription driven, then we are the yogi driven, yaar. What is Karare Chane saying, bro? Let's face it, Chana boy. Your reward comes from ads, sarkari and corporates, who benefit from the reality show Chillam Chilli Tamasha you put up every night. That's the model. Most channels are part of a bouquet or available for a small amount on a set-top box. But the model is still advertising. Don't believe me? Ask your boss who famously is quoted to having said that we are in the ad business, not in the news business. The only change you personally have made 
since this was revealed to the world and changed the news business forever is a chanawala type delivery that you have pioneered trying to imitate this guy and why do you take me to court for pointing that out listen to yourself don't you sound like a chanawala karaye jane lo big news coming in big news coming in karaye le karaye le facts facts and for the rest of you share this video with your family uncle aunty groups friends all those who may be getting brainwashed by legacy media share our videos and more importantly the link to our website and most importantly subscribe to keep news free and independent we don't take ads news on yet's entire team is built on subscription money that you contribute this is a real subscription model go to newslawney.com click on the subscribe button and pay to keep news free and garv se kaho mere kharch par azad hain khabrein we will see you again next week when manisha will be back so ye and you will not be subjected to me until then stay mad that's the only way